But the good news is, you will end up having peace. Don't allow today's experience to define your destination. Some of you, you are destined to fly like an eagle, but you're jumping like the chicken. Every devil that is resisting you from soaring like an eagle, I command them to forget now. I want to invite our father, Reverend Ezioha, to come and do the needful. Can we celebrate him as he come? Praise the Lord. Today is a great day. A day for our manifestations. The Lord has prepared his servant for this purpose. A great evangelist writer, author of books and uh, if you are careful or you've been around for some time you have his uh, messages everywhere join me this morning as we bring forth the servant of God our former leader great evangelist Reverend Doctor Chidi Ukuru Afo. All the glory must be to the Lord, for He is worthy of our praise. No man on earth should give glory to Himself. Glory must be to the Lord. Amen. Amen. You might be seated. I glorify the name of the Lord for this beautiful opportunity of being here to be a part of these three days. I agree fully with the earlier speakers. Your expectation shall not fail. Amen. And the calling of God is irrevocable. Amen. amen and amen and amen. amen. And I appreciate you for this dream come to pass. But permit me to say, you've not seen anything yet. <laughs> Let me make an introductory statement. The summary of all that has happened in this church from Genesis till now. It's an introductory scratch. What is ahead of you is greater than what you have experienced. There are oceans to be navigated, mountains to be scaled, there are kingdoms to conquer, there are souls to wreck into the kingdom, there are fresh imagined millionaires. And there are even an upcoming billionaire. Amen. It's not compulsory to say amen. amen. I say it's not compulsory. Amen. When I preach, I don't like to tell people say amen. You won't hear it from me. Say amen. Because amen means I believe it. I claim it. They belong to me. I accept it. So when I come to you and tell you say amen, it means I am superimposing amen. I am forcing it down your throat. So if you like, buy a solo tape. I mean, seal your mouth. Refuse to say amen. For the message and messages is to whom it may concern. 
Now, let me also say this as we navigate through the program. When we, just like we are here in the presence of God, you may not necessarily need the entire sermon that I bring. And I tell people, the impact is not on the length of the sermon. I understand what I'm saying. The impact of a message is not in the length of the sermon. But, but there is a sentence a paragraph, a phrase, probably a clause, baked in the hot oven of heaven, prepared for you in particular. Now, ability to catch that word will make your day and affect your destiny. Nobody is permitted to participate in this program and go back the same way that he came. This is the season of your manifestation. God is raising a generation. A generation that will catch fire and go out to light the society. Amen and amen and amen. Ancient of days, confirm your word in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't joke with a team that God's servant must have prayed and the Lord laid in his heart for the theme of the program. He didn't just say manifestation. That's the meaning of this plural word, manifestations. In other words, there shall be quadruple and several manifestations Expected in your life. Yeah. And after this program, you will manifest spiritually. Yeah. Even I see physically, I see you manifesting. Yeah. Because I sense God restoring somebody's heart. Yeah. I see you getting fresh. Yes, I see you getting fresh. We are in your classmates. We are in your age mates. We look like your fathers. Comparatively speaking. Oh my God. Uncommon oil shall rest upon you. And you shall see yourself manifesting. You will also manifest materially. I want to announce to you by the grace I carry. God will cause you to count the kind of money you have never counted in heaven. And I see accelerated promotion. Remember I said it's not compulsory to say amen. Remember, remember, remember. If you don't believe what is being said, keep quiet. But I know that the Bible says believe the Lord and you shall be established then believe his prophets and you shall prosper I want to begin this morning by talking about ambassadors for power demonstration ambassadors for power demonstration Turn with me to the book of Psalm chapter 62 verse 11. Psalm 62. Thank you, blessed Holy Spirit. Verse 11. Let's read that verse together. 62 verse 11. God has spoken once. I have had this twice that power belongs to who? Now look at me. That power belongs to who? You know, sometimes when you call God, it doesn't appear to me as if there's any personal thing in it. Any criminal can call God.
Anybody from any religion can call God. But it takes somebody that had an encounter to say, my God. A man and a woman that had had what I call Damascus Road experience can call God. Now, God has spoken once. I have had this twice. Hey, I like this translation. And it is in tandem with the team. I mean the sub team. You know you said here. Going from strength to strength. And then look at what the HCSB translation says. God has spoken once. I have had this. Strength belongs to who? Oh, are you talking to me at all? I said, strength belongs to who? My God. In other words, oh my God, if strength, let me ask you, if your father is the owner of an estate, are you supposed to have accommodation problem? <laughs> if you are the son or daughter of a dollar millionaire, Dollar millionaire. Are you supposed to be a pauper? Now get it again. Because he said God has spoken once and I have had this twice. That strength belongs to who? My father. Well that leads me to a question. And that question is, is he really your father? By the way, this God, the more you know him, the more you know you don't know him. The more you know him, the more you know you don't know him. The closer you draw to him, the farther he becomes. The problem of this generation is churchianity without Christianity. People go to church. They know the bishop. They know the pastor. But they don't know the Lord of the church. Now, you don't even join. You don't even, you don't even, because, and that's why, even if your father is a reverend and your mother is a deaconess, God has no grandchild. God has no grandchild. He only has children. My daughter will not say, since I am the daughter of a reverend, I am automatically a granddaughter of God. No! You must have personal encounter. In case there is somebody who sneaked into this church, Without a personal experience. You know the church is not a political party. It's not a community meeting. The church. is not a social gathering. It's not a club. It's a fellowship of pilgrims. Men and women with a common goal. Those who have come to see. Him. And let me say this. You can eat your cake and have it. The beginning of the manifestation. Is. That somebody needs to be born again. And permit me to ask you. Are you really born again? I'm not asking you about your membership status. You can have accelerated membership status. Without being born again. I'm not even asking you about usage. God can use any criminal. Did you hear me? Anybody can be used. Ah, Mr. Preacher, what are you talking about? I read in the Bible where a donkey was used. Did you read it in the Bible? A donkey was used. And can I ask you these questions? Was that donkey born again? No. Was that donkey born again? Did that donkey receive the Holy Spirit baptism? Did God use the donkey? Now, let, let, me, let me go through the question again in case there's somebody here who didn't catch me very well. God used a donkey. In fact, you remember something spoke to Balaam. Who spoke to Balaam? Talk to me. Who spoke to Balaam? Now, was that donkey born again? Did that donkey receive the Holy Ghost baptism? Now, but did God use the donkey? Papa, don't use me and abandon me at the end of the day. Don't use me and abandon me. I don't want to be used and abandoned. 
couple of years ago, I preached a message titled, So You Later Came Here. In that message, I said, how come it that after preaching and ministering to people, carrying big Bibles, that you go to heaven and in heaven, because there will be recognition in heaven. We won't suffer memory loss. You will know who is who in the kingdom. Then on that time in heaven, that um, somebody, your neighbor will cite to you I said, come on, in here. I say, are you Mr. or Mrs. so so, so and so? He said, yes. The one that used to invite me, severally you gave me a flyer to come to, what's the name of this place? To come to Press Chapel, located at where? I'm all dolphin. Yes, 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 yes. The one that used to carry a big Bible, he said, yes. The one that when I even came, I saw you singing in the choir. He said, yes. Uh -uh. So, you later came here. But, two years ago, or about two years ago, I had another version of that message. Wow! So you finally made it. This one was an exclamation on the streets of gold. Can you come up, Pastor? I want to demonstrate something. Can you be at that point? All right, right there, right there. On the streets of gold, that you, I told you there will always be recognition in eternity. You cited somebody. He said, Is this not Brother Timothy? Wow! Can you come up? You rushed. With a great heart. Bro. So you finally made it. This will be a greeting. On the streets of good. And that's what I wish for you. Even if you made it. Without money. Made it. Without hand. Made it. Without husband, made it without wife, made it without position. I have a prayer for you. Let it be heaven at last. That on the streets of gold, we shall hog a great hog without departure. And that's what I want to say today. If you didn't make heaven, you were a noise maker here. If you didn't make heaven, you attended ordinarily. Now, I'm saying this to say, the critical basic question, thank you, Pastor, is this. Everybody look at me this morning. Before we continue, I know God has something in stock for this church these three days. There shall be manifestations you have never experienced in your life. God, I, I had him say something, and he said, I will mysteriously handle your challenges. He will mysteriously handle your challenges. He will pick you from where you are to where you're supposed to be. I see great, great, tremendous open doors. But by the way, I want to ask you a question. Are you born again? If you answer yes, complete the following questions. When did it happen? Where did it happen? How did it happen? And what happened? When did it happen? Where did it happen? How did it happen? And what happened? The born again experience is beyond trying to put together some Pentecostal jargons. It is beyond shouting hallelujah. It is even beyond meeting tongues. It is an experience. When you come face to face with amazing grace. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. The same. I once was lost. But now I found. Was blind. 
but now I see amazing grace. How sweet the sound, the sound of sin. I like me. I was lost, lost, but now I'm found. Hallelujah. Was blind, but now I see. I don't know if you saw what I saw. I was, was, was lost. lost. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Meaning there was a past tense. If there is no past tense in your life, if you cannot say I was, but now I am, I query your born again claims. I wrote a tract titled Bad Guys Are Welcomed. Bad guys are welcome. God has never seen a sinner he cannot forgive. He has never seen a situation he cannot change. He has never seen a sickness that he cannot heal. I'm talking to somebody I don't know your name. God wants you to manifest. But the beginning, get initiated first. What did I say? What did I say? Get initiated. Get initiated. Because God has, I have had this. Strength belongs to God. I need a relationship with the owner of strength. Because in this program we are saying, moving from strength to strength. I see God energizing somebody. <laughs> He who is down shall be up. Amen. Somebody that has been given up. I see great restoration upon your life. Amen. The greatest mistake the devil made is to allow you to come to this program. It's a big mistake. That you're here is a double guarantee that God is about opening new doors for your life. Amen. And while I was even thinking about this, I saw a closer chapter 24 verse 1. We are in Psalm 24 verse 1. It talks about something very similar. Psalm 24. The earth. Wait a minute. What do you mean by the earth? Lagos is there. Africa is there. Northern Hemisphere. Southern Hemisphere. Including all the continents of the world. The earth. And then it says, everything that is in it. The world. The humans. Everything that is on this earth. The world and its inhabitants. Belong to who? Oh my God. And look at the logic I want you to follow. And I am a child of God. And my father, the earth, everything that is in it, the wealth, everything. Hear me. This world does not belong to occultic people. I shouldn't begin to walk as a stranger in a place that belongs to my father. Now, two things. Power belongs to him. The art is yes. You know what it means? I am coming from a power background. I am coming from a power background. And I will manifest power. You need to, oh my God, your mindset needs to be reset. I pray that your eyes shall be open, that you may begin to have an understanding of who you are, understanding of the capacity, capability of your father. When you understand this, then you will come to face to face. And after this morning, you will confront what has been confronting you. Don't be threatened. And just before I descend into the arena of the topic for tomorrow, 
and then hand over. It is dangerous to demonstrate power without initiation. Very, very dangerous. I see people demonstrating power without manifesting. What are you manifesting? When your status in him is queryable. Look at an experience in As Apostle chapter 19 from 11. A very important experience I want to draw your attention to. As Apostle chapter 19 from 11. It's an experience God was performing extraordinary miracles by Paul's hands. Miracle alone. What is miracle? Miracle is a temporary suspension of the law of nature that the finger of God will prevail. What is miracle? Miracle is divine intervention in the ordinary course of nature. That is miracle. Now, we have seen miracle. But look at what the Bible says. God performed not just miracles. But what? Somebody say extraordinary. In other words, God started performing abnormal miracles. Now, pastor, let me tell you something. If you went to operate with common anointing, close this place. For the anointing is commonized. It is the one that everybody uses. Therefore, no need abandoning people to come here. But if you come under the unction of extraordinary, oh my God, I will tell you at the end of this day, extraordinary miracle will make you marketable. It shall enhance your celebrity. You need celebrity. Hear me. This is not an ordinary center. I see God causing this place to be a happening center. I see the hand of God. I see the spirit of God resting upon people. I oh Malika Pushendalaburia. Now hear me today. Oh, you said this manifestation. Can I announce to you at the end of this program? I see the rise of unknown faces. I see the rise of unknown faces. Come on, I see. Hear me. Oh my God. Just a second. The usage of God has no clergy lighty dichotomy. Did you hear me? You don't need to be a pastor and go to Bible school for you to heal the sick. You don't need to be a pastor and go to Bible school for the hand of God to come mightily upon you. Sometimes people misunderstand this. A little usage, you feel formed to go to Bible school. I hear a word in my spirit. He took your measurement. Lift up your hand and shout. He took my measurement, somebody. Say it again, say it again, say it again. You don't need to be taller to be used. Mm -mm. No. You don't need to fast for 40 days to be tall. Or robot. Or smaller. Mama. You are just the correct size. And Papa will use you as you are. He will use you to showcase his glory and his presence. Oh my God. You will break even. Now, now, look at this. God was performing extraordinary miracles. I have a prayer. I breathe upon this altar that from this moment it will be a center for extraordinary miracle. Hallelujah. Ina 
to extraordinary. I have come to speak unto you. Forget about your neighbor. Oh my God. You are a material for usage. Oh, I speak to somebody. God raised you as a raw material. Communities waiting for your manifestation. Yeah, they are. Yes, they are. I was addressing a group of pastors yesterday, a day before yesterday, in the city of Port Harcourt, and I said to the pastors, "When you begin to preach and your members are sleeping, it's not about your members; it's about you." You must have contacted a factual disease that is infecting every other person. May God give you the aura and fire that will cause everybody to stand to his fear. Oh my God. God performed extraordinary miracles. Okay, let me leave in and move to verse 12. I hope I didn't ask you to stand. Did I ask you to stand or you're standing on your own? I want to be sure, please. I want to be sure. Um, so that even first clothes, apron. By the way, Pastor, there's no apron here. Is there an apron? Yeah, get me one. That apron. His, the, the Bible says apron that touched his skin. This is very, very clear. Handkerchief that touched where? You know what that means? When you are anointed, your body is anointed. Even your cloth is anointed. I've seen people who came along the prayer line they went to the seat where the man of God sat and sat down and automatically they got their healing. I've seen people who lied on the bed. The servant of God lied and they contacted anointing. You think we are here for ordinary thing? When you shake hands, I've seen people, you shake hands with them and fever and disease will disappear because of the presence of the Lord and the glory of God. I am tired of dry, dry pulpit. I am tired of dry manifestation. I see supernatural manifestations of the
choir. You must buckle up. If your aim is to sing and people will clap for you and you get satisfied that you sang and they clap for you, that's, that's a misnomer. That means you produce carnality and they gave you back carnality. You know the manifestation we are talking about? They so ministered in the Bible, sang, that the liquid presence of God came down that the priest could no longer minister. Can I have your song seize the altar? Can I have a glory so envelop this place? Bragosund them. When last did you sing and somebody got healed? When last did you sing and somebody received the Holy Ghost? When last did you sing and somebody lied on the floor? When last did you sing and you experienced the supernatural presence of God? Handkerchief from the body of a mortal man. We are sent, brought to the sick, and the diseases left them. You don't get this type of oil on the platform of extreme politicking in the church. No, 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 no. You get it on the altar of transformation. And the disease left them. Evil spirits came out of them. Manifestation. Hmm. You know what that means? God will so anoint individual members of this church. Your testimony shall attract more people to this church. <sighs> get ready, get ready. I have disabused your mind over relying on the pastor, relying on Bible school graduates for manifestation. Everybody will be an ambassador, ambassador for power demonstration. Oh my God, you will carry the manifestation to your house. You will carry the manifestation to your place you work. Ah. Let me make an announcement. From this morning, emergency will suddenly arise. There shall be emergency, emergency, emergency. I don't know the nature it will come. Somebody may suddenly die. Somebody may suddenly become sick. Somebody may suddenly have a challenge. They will call you on phone. Do you know the purpose of the emergency? To introduce you. <laughs> They want to introduce you and introduce the grace, introduce the power, introduce the anointing that you carry, introduce the presence of God that is manifesting in your life. Evil spirits came out of them and then move forward to the next verse. Move forward to the next verse quickly. And the son, some of the itinerant Jewish sources attempted to pronounce the name of the Lord Jesus over those who had evil spirit, saying, I command you by Jesus whom Paul preaches. They were not preaching. They were hanging and wrestling on the one that Paul preaches. While I still wait for me, dear people, to show me my time, please. Now, uh, get to the next verse. Get to the next verse. Verse 14. Get me verse 14. Seven sons of Sceva, Jewish chief priests, we are doing this. Move to 15. Move to 15. The evil spirit answered them. Evil spirit answered them boldly. Jesus, I know. Paul, I recognize. I like the way it is. Evil spirit answered them. Jesus, I know. Paul, I recognize. But, who are you? Now hear me now. When the sons of God went to present themselves, Satan also came. I declare you this morning a suspect until I, I, until I declare your identity. Who are you? Who brought you here? Why are you here? 
What have you come to do to this place? Have you come to fill the number? Are you serious and committed? Now let me announce to you. You can't be a part-time Christian facing a full-time devil. You can't be a part-time Christian facing full-time devil. You've got to be full-time for the kingdom. Full-time. Serious. Committed to the kingdom of God. Jesus, I know. Now, let me turn it. Now, look at your neighbor and ask him. Does your village demon recognize you? Just, just help me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask him again. Ask him aha. Ask him. Come and touch somebody and ask him. What's going on with this time? Let him bring out the time. I want to see my time. You know, man of God, you can't operate in this community when the territorial environmental demons when they don't recognize you. You must grow to a point where they mention you in their meeting and they will say that man is a no-go area. <laughs> man, dear Koko Muslim. But can I tell you the danger? Paul, I know. No, Jesus, I know. Paul, I recognize. But what? Who are you? Who gave you authority? Who gave you Bible? And that means for you to be really, really a demonstrator, you have to be initiated. You have to belong to Jesus. You have to be born again. And I am worried about what they did to that person. If you read the next verse, look at the next verse, what they did to that person. Can you get to that next verse? Oh my God. Then the man who had the evil spirit leaped on them, overpowered them, prevailed against them, that they ran out of that house naked and wounded. Somebody say, God forbid. They ran out naked. What was their problem? They attempted to use the power without initiation. You cannot eat your cake and have it. You can't eat your cake and have it. I said, what am I trying to say this morning? You know, I, I said I'm talking about ambassador for power demonstration. Who is an ambassador? Ambassador is a representative of a country in a foreign nation. A representative. Do you know who you are? The Bible says our citizenship is in heaven. Your citizenship is in heaven. Find time to look at Philippi 3.20 and Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 and 2. So an ambassador must be a citizen. I've spoken so much time this morning talking about this. A Cameroonian cannot be Nigerian ambassador to Canada. No, it can't happen. It can't happen. Do you know who you are? That's a song we used to sing in our secondary school days. Represent Jesus. You know, when we are going on vacation in the fellowship, we begin to sing this song before we go on vacation. Represent Jesus. Wherever you may go, let the beauty of Jesus be seen in you, sister. Represent Jesus. Wherever you may be, let the beauty of Jesus be seen. I'm not a singer. I don't parade about singing, but sometimes song comes, I throw it to the singers. I'm not a singer. And a citizen must be a trusted citizen. Trusted. Trusted. An ambassador must be a trusted citizen of the sending country. Oh my God. I just have a message that has been ringing in my spirit since two days. God wants to release power. God wants to hand over power to somebody. But can you be trusted? God wants to give word to somebody. Now hear me. I don't know how it will happen. 
there will be emergence of a fresh millionaire out of this church. But can you be trusted? Man of God, assuming anointing comes upon you now, that 20 blind people will see in a day. Can God trust you with such anointing? Will it eat up your head? Will it make you not be inaccessible? Oh my God. Liama Supaki Kamushinda. There are men that God has trusted power into their hands. But at the end of the day, they could not be trusted. Papa is looking for people. Can God trust you? Ambassador has a full backup of the sending nation. If there's anything I know, God is behind this walk here. Just give me a break a little. Give me a break. It does not matter the local protocol here. Just a break. Listen to me. Papa orchestrated this dream. No devil, no demon born of the devil can stop it. No man born of a woman can cause it to somersault. And because God is here, I say it again. I'm raising power demonstrators. I'm raising ambassador that will carry my glory, carry my power. In the days when many new denominations are using the assemblies of God as a springboard to fill up their churches, Papa is looking for a center that will attract new people. And I speak to you, don't begin to look on the altar for your manifestation. Come on. Manifestation can begin with you. Manifestation can begin with your house. Manifestation can begin where you are. God is anointing you to be an influencer. He's anointing you. You will influence your colleagues. You shall influence your contemporaries. You shall bring them, bring them, bring them, bring them, bring them. Oh my God. Bring them, bring them, bring them. Bring them, bring them, bring them, bring them. And you know, a man who is an ambassador, another country cannot terminate the tenor of another country's ambassador. God has brought you to fulfill a purpose on earth. No man, no demon, no power, no power will eliminate you. Oh my God. It's an honorable position to be an ambassador. God has honored you. It's a sweet thing to be a child of God. Yes. Yes. It's a sweet thing. Just before I take you to prayer, because we are coming again tomorrow evening. When we talk about signs, you know, we have set up this place. You know what we are looking for? We are looking for divine authentication. Papa, come and authenticate this work. Papa, when we talk about power demonstration, it is divine signature. Come and put your signature upon what we are doing. Come. Come. Come and put your signature. We want to see God in a new dimension. We want to see him in a way we've never seen him before. Power demonstration is divine signboard. God is releasing divine signboard. It is a divine introduction. The Lord wants to introduce somebody. And let me say this to you. The usage of God has no sex dichotomy. Nothing like I'm a man or I'm a woman. God spoke to me and said, in the end time move, I am looking for three things. Somebody that shall be flexible, available, and combustible. Flexible, available, and combustible. Flexible, 
available and combustible. Is there somebody in this church that will be available? That will be flexible in the hand of God? That will be combustible? Your hand is not empty. Don't think you are dry. God has anointed you. God has released something upon you. And there is something that will come upon you that will distinguish you from the ordinary. Enhancing your marketability. That will make your detractors to bow and recognize what God has said about you. I want to say to you today, the season for divine advertisement has come. You may put so much money in advertisement, it may not go far. But there is the power of divine advertisement. I, I tell people, time when drama, drama pulled weight in program has expired. Drama, there was a time drama was. Even film, Green Reaper, some of those films at our, in our days of, you know, knowing the Lord, the, 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 the films mattered a lot. But look at the contemporary world. Cinema halls are closing. Because it's no longer in vogue like that. You can stay at the comfort of your home. Get any kind of channel you want. Or you get into the internet. And it will, or TikTok or whatever you have. And watch what you want to watch. So it's not an issue. Right now if you are dramatizing. Somebody may be busy correcting your technical mistakes. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Talk about band. Band is not. If God likes music, Satan likes music. Even in the music world, some worldly musicians have known that Christian music is selling. Worldly musicians also sing church song. Remove certain things, put Jesus, put them and put hallelujah, and it will sell. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying now? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you getting my point? So music is not the in thing. But, but, let one blind man see in this church. Let one cripple walk. Miyaku supakaduka muhuria. Come on. Come on the heavy anointing and confront the cancer. Let cancer disappear. Let disease be oozed. Ah! It may not convert. But people will come and see the man that opened the blind eyes. The Bible says we have empirical reason. Irrevocable evidence. Nobody can doubt it. Oh, may God give you irrevocable evidence. Evidence. Papa in this church. Give us evidence. Somebody shout, give us evidence. Shout it again, shout it again, shout it again. Give us evidence. We want it. We want it. Counterfeit. Presupposed good money. You can be that vessel today. The hand of God shall rest upon you. And manifest Within the next six minutes, is there somebody you've been in church but you're not in Christ and you want to embrace the Lord today? You want a miracle of salvation? You want to be born again? You want to be real? You don't want to go ahead deceiving yourself. Raise your hand and want to pray for you. I want to pray for you that a miracle of salvation will take place in your heart. Is there somebody? Thank you so much for raising your hand. I love you so much. Please, can you stand to your feet? Just stand to your feet. You're welcome to this family. It's a great family. We are, we're like, don't look at the left or look at the right. Feel free in the presence of God. And in case you want to give your life to Jesus, come, I want to pray for you. As we sing this song, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. Yeah, yeah. Amazing grace. Can you sing the song as you come? Come up, I want to pray for you. Grace, how sweet the sound. Oh, love, I shall not let it. I how rare like me. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. I was once lost, but now I'm found. 
was blind, but now I see. Oh, amazing grace. Hallelujah. How sweet the sound. Now say, now say. Was life, but now, but now I see. I want to congratulate you for coming in His presence to boldly accept the Lord. It's a great day. We did it. We surrendered our life to Jesus, and because you have done this. You want to belong to this family of Jesus. Your expectation shall not fail. Amen. In case there is some other person here. Why will I be ashamed of coming out? When there are a lot of crazy things people do. Without being ashamed of parents. Why will I be ashamed of identifying with divinity? He that is older than age. Uncreated creator. Immovable mover. On cause to cause. He that came out one day without a raw material and he said, Let there be light, and there was love. Place your hands on your heart. In case you are joining us from wherever, even if you are joining from online or wherever, surrendering your life to Jesus. Just repeat these prayers after me. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I give my life to you. I promise you from today. I will not go back. All the days of my life, I will live for you. I will give me the power to become your child. Thank you for forgiving me and cleansing me. In the name of Jesus. Um, let me pray for you. Father, I give you the glory. For this lady that came out as a point of contact and other people from all over. I pray for mercy. Cancel their names in the book of death. Write their names in the book of life. Open a new chapter Hallelujah. in the history of their lives. Thank you for serving them now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you and God bless you. I just have two minutes and 41 seconds. I want to pray for somebody. Is there somebody that is longing for, you want to be an ambassador for power demonstration. Can you stand, be up on your feet. You want grace of God upon your life. Father, here am I. Here am I. Use me. Here am I. Use me. I surrender to you. Can you open your mouth as you lift up your hands and begin to talk to God? I say, here am I, Lord. Use me, Lord. I'm available, Lord. Use me. I will become what you wanted to be. I want to use you. Can you sing that song, what the Lord said? He's willing to use you. He's willing to make something out of you. Can you pray and ask him for that? I want to use you to fulfill my promise. I know about you before I found you. For my salvation is through to you in all service. When I call on you, oh, hallelujah. don't complain. I want to use, use you to fulfill my promise. I know about you. Before I fall, so my salvation is sure to you in our service. When I call on you, don't complain. I will. When I call on you, God's complain. Can you lift up your hand right where you are? God 
terrible shantara laburia. Lord, I begin to pray for the release of your grace. Yora kepu shakala mahantara bababa. Receive grace for manifestation. Let the hand of God rest upon you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Lika keke mashanda laburia bababa. Shika kuku mahala. Lambraga de rebo shikaya. Oh my God. I see the hand of God resting upon somebody mightly. Right here you are. He's preparing you for a time like this. I want to carry this assignment. Oh my God. Raise your palms. I say, stretch your palms. Oh my God. Is there any willing hands? Available hands? Something is dropping upon somebody. I don't know your name. Something is dropping upon you. Something is dropping upon you. Oh, Papa, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Wherever they are, from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Ambassadors, raise me, ambassadors, for this demonstration. Yarama, use me. Yarama, use me. If the Lord be somebody, Allah Bush and Allah. Yarama, Yarama, use me. I am ready. Use me. I am ready. Me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We the Lord is somebody. I am ready. Use me. Use me one more time, oh Lord. Use me one more time, oh Lord. Use me to the mercy. I need a touch from the Lord. Touch me one more time. Oh Lord, I need a touch. Touch me one more time. Oh Lord, touch me one more time. Touch me. I need a touch of the monster. I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time. Oh Touch me one more time. Oh I need a touch of the love Touch me one more time Oh Lord And the song goes again Can you place your two hands on touch your head? Touch me one more time Touch me one more time oh, oh, oh. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes touch Lord, me, yes Lord. Lord Touch me one more time Touch me Lord oh, Touch me Lord In the machine can I need a touch from the Lord. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Touch me one more time. Touch me 
disappear in the name of Jesus. That matter that has troubled you, I command them to give way in the name of Jesus Christ. He took away your infirmities and by his stripes you are healed. He has taken them away. Every ailment on your body is an illegal occupant. Yeah. Over 2,000 years ago, they were taken away. Thou illegal occupant, occupying the stomach, occupying the heart, occupying the head, migraine headache, illegally, I command you to get out. Amen. The price for the healing has been paid. Amen. You have no legal rights. To dwell on that place. Malika Pushikara Baba Bahandara. Oh my God. Any blockage of the artery, I command the flow in the name of Jesus Christ. Beyond the medical doctor's diagnosis, let the finger of God, extraordinary miracle, take place in your heart, take place in your life. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Receive your permanent testimony in the name of Jesus. Father, equip your church. Prepare this individual people. Give them miracle workers boldness. Authority for performability. That as they go out today, we shall see and test that you have raised fresh ambassadors for our demonstration. Thank you for doing it. Be glorified, Lord. Come on, celebrate Jesus with a clap offering. If you are blessed, celebrate Jesus. Don't sit down, don't sit down. Please stretch forth your hand towards our Father and bless Him. Lift up your voice and bless Him. Just lift up your voice. Please don't sit down, be on your feet. Let's bless Him. Le cobra di kabajete kebro hosopata. Le cobra hadaba strength. Le cobra di kapata jete kelebra. Me cobra di koli jebra halaba. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Were you blessed? If you are blessed, say amen. amen. Daddy, God bless you. God bless you. You know, at the beginning of this center, the Lord used him mightily. Him with uh, Daddy. Is your hand. They were the one who said the center has to be. Can we be on our feet and celebrate my father? Let's be on our feet and celebrate my father. 
Come on, do it well, 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 do it well.